I'm Bill from Bill's Tools, and I'm going to do a comparison video of the Pittsburgh tubing cutter to my rigid number 10 tubing cutter. It's tried and true. I was going to first do it with my number 15, but well, I haven't used this tubing cutter yet. It was like four bucks or something like that on sale, but I don't feel it's a good comparison to the number 15 just because of its size. So because of its size, I figured the number 10 tubing cutter by Rigid, if you look side by side, they are almost identical in size. So let's see how they perform. Well, this Pittsburgh tubing cutter, because mine's at number, the Rigid's at number 10. This is a 40913 cutting capacity, an eighth of an inch to one and an eighth. Unfortunately, I get an eighth of an inch to one inch on the number 10. The number 15 will go up to inch and an eighth. But like I said, I don't feel it's a fair comparison just due to the size. Professional quality, micrometer adjustable adjuster, flare cutoff groove. So it's got a flare cutoff groove in the back. It was only like four bucks. Uh, but it's very lightweight compared to this, which is solid. So, now here we go with the actual testing. Let's see how these two compare against each other. Because I mean, if you look, they're almost, the head is the same, the wheels are, the same size almost just a little thinner on this I mean this guy this is plastic though I'll tell you that that's metal inch and an eighth they're saying so this is only saying one inch so you're gonna be able to cut with the Pittsburgh a little larger of a pipe as you can see not much but a little larger of a pipe this is beefier on the rigid. This is a little thinner. But let's see how they perform. I'm going to be cutting some end pipe today that I picked up just for this. I probably should be using the brand new cutting wheel for this rusty old wheel. But takes the fun out of it. So 
It wasn't a full seven, this one cut through. Let's do two more of these and see. And we're gonna pressure them. One, two, three, four. I was putting a lot of pressure on this. Four turns I cut. Here we go. I'm gonna over pressure this one to one, two, three, four. So about the same on both. So now, if you cut, sometimes you want a ream. Let's see how the reamer performs. Oop, holds in on that. Okay, so that's one thing I'm noticing is the reamer doesn't quite stay in place too well. It's a little scary. And you've only got this lift on this side. Let me get a new edge to cut. So I'm not impressed with the ream. Okay, let's go. Now on the ream. See, that's not moving. And you can go in both directions. As far as I'm concerned, we're reaming rigid winds. That's not going to move on you. This, <laughs> well, that's a little scary. Be careful of your hands when using this. So if you're doing a lot of reaming, this is not going to be a tool that you're going to want. Now let's look at it a little closer. After everything that we've just done, the cutting wheel is still not bad, but it is really thin compared to the wheel on the rigid. The rigid wheel still is thin, but this is pretty thin. The reamer scares me. So if I have to make flares or whatnot, there's a good chance that you're going to cut yourself. This reams on every edge here. So for someone who's doing almost no pipe work, very little bit around your house, you know what? This tool right here is all you're going to need. Now what I'm not sure of is, is this how the reamer was when I bought it? Or did this used to go all the way in? I'm not sure. That's a pretty interesting beginning. So for a homeowner, this is okay. If you're occasionally going to do something, this will work. For a professional, I'm sorry, Rigid wins. Rigid's always going to win in my books. I'm biased, what could I say? But you don't want, if you got to ream anything, for this to collapse on you. You saw it a few times. It was coming down on me. I mean, this is my go-to, usually, for most pipe work, is this right here, the Rigid number 15. I love this pipe cutter. It's, I don't even know how many pipes it's cut. But I mean, this is just a little smaller version. But I mean, this thing, this wheel on here is old. This is my go through, my go to. The rigid pen is my next one. But I mean, this, you get going, and it's gonna be the same amount of turns. Three. That was one less, but this is a lot beefier stronger of a pipe cutter then you even get into bigger sizes but the number 10 in my books is better if you're going to be professionally cutting pipe for a homeowner to spend 30 bucks on a pipe cutter i can't warrant it when this will do this i will not be able to use on a job site because I know that this is not going to last. These wheels will. These wheels are... I've had this thing for at least 20 years. That's my second or third wheel, maybe. 
but yes it's got nicks on it it's not perfect but that wheel will last but if the market for a tubing cutter all three of these will work just pick one nah. this go to second in command this i i don't know what to do with this thing really because as far as i'm concerned when i'm pu cutting pipe i'm on a job i'm somewhere this usually it's not like nibbling off pieces in my backyard from a pipe good for a homeowner professional so for me unfortunately i'm going to be using these guys but if you're once in a while randomly doing some kind of piping work i mean maybe i did an unfair comparison but these two look identical let's do this comparison this one was going to be my comparison but i felt that this was just too beefy too strong to really come into the comparison for this harbor freight tubing cutter go with the number 10 cutter this will last your lifetime this may not last too long but a weekend DIYer this will probably get you through most of your work unless you're doing a whole house renovation then you're gonna wish you had the rigid Till next time, I'm Bill from Bill's Tools. Peace, I'm out.